Well, this morning Stevie's putting in some permanent soffit vents. These ones are hard plastic and they get screwed in. And I ran out of them last time, so to keep the mice out, I thought I'd be smart to put this screen over there and staple them up. But as you can see, the mice were a little bit smarter than me. And they chewed through right through them. <laughs> and I don't know how they climbed this wall and go upside down and chew through them, but they did. You can see that one's going in. This one's coming down out. So they chewed from the outside too. But, but yeah, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. So I think I got enough soft events now. We're going to find out to finish this job up. And, uh, and hopefully that will keep the mice at bay. And they can go back to their home down there. But yeah, it's really important to, to vent the, the ceiling. And this is how we did it in the soffit. And you could run like a, a single through and just do two narrow strips, which is probably easier, probably, probably cheaper. But this is the way we did it. And Donnie's going to be wrapping the outhouse over here with some... Uh, roof guard like a type R material just to keep uh, keep the rain from getting in on the, the newly installed insulation and then we're going to side that as well What is that sticking out right here? This high. Is it a nail? Or not? What's uh, in there? Something there. I think there. it's a knot. A knot popped out? I think. Huh? There's like a knot a knife? popped out. Yeah. Uh huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh huh? Not. A knot? Yeah. Knot. Can we pound it back in? Yeah, see if you can. Yep. Ah. Good enough. <laughs> That's funny. Do those really come flying out? That one would have. Yeah. What, the knots? Yeah. Yeah, my uncle had a, he built his house and he had the knots on board. Five years after he built the house, he heard this bang, sounded like a gunshot, and a knot had come right through on the interior through his sheetrock. Holy cow. I can't imagine. Take your eye right out. What? Yeah, stress that must have been under. I've had a couple Jeez. pop in my workshop. Really? Yeah. Uh. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> While you were in there? Oh, man. Scare the crap out of you. <laughs> well, that yellow birch is dead on the main trunk, but the side trunks are alive. But it ain't coming this way. This is a dead top that's going to come right this yeah. way. That yellow birch? Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's take the whole thing down. Geez, we could split some wood today. Yeah. The pile is slowly becoming uncovered. Yeah. So where would you have him ditch from on uh, that small yellow birch by the road? Yeah. Right here? To the right of that, between that and the yeah. wood pile. Yeah. Come down through there, and down through here. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. 
Because it seems like there's a spring hole or so, a hole right about where that wood's piled. And over here was pretty wet. Too, Wicked wet. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just get it around the wood this and yeah. we're golden. Right. So it'll drain down into the, and purify the water in a <laughs> new system down yeah, here. Yeah, exactly. Because we would not mud or anything be left here. We've got to purify it. Puritan water. Yeah. Before we close this side in, with with uh, V match, I want to measure for this. I want to measure this hole for a window. Is it worth putting a window in or not? Well, you know, I still got that little half round the window. Round that would look kind of nice in here. It'd look awesome in here. Yeah. I mean, put it in this wall. Yeah, probably. Yeah. That's the sunny side. Yeah, because I got that window too, but I think it's probably too big for this. Yeah, that that dome window that I got. Oh, you think maybe put it up top? Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah, put it up in that top. Up in the top? Oh, yeah. that'd be so cool. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. If it's not too much of a pain in the neck, I don't know. No, it won't be bad. No? Just trace it out and cut it with a saber saw. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be but awesome. probably on the sunny side. Yeah, that'd be so cool to have a window in, yeah. the, in the outhouse. Oh, man. You'd never get the women out of that <laughs> place. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to have for reading material? <laughs> Got to be careful about that. <laughs> well, uh, better homes can you build a... Better homes and gardens. Can you build a secret compartment? <laughs> <laughs> with a with a lock on it? Uh, yeah, I think a better homes and garden would yeah. be appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> seed catalogs. Yeah, seed catalogs. That, that would get oh, I up, bet yeah. she's yeah. looking through seed oh, yeah. catalogs now. I get them every day in the mail. Stevie's yeah. going to be broke in a He's month. Be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he will never find it. He throws uh, every seed catalog away. Uh, <laughs> he runs to the mailbox now. Uh, There's a whole pile of them on the neighbor's lawn <laughs> <laughs> where he frisbees them. Uh, have your neighbors moved in to no. that house? No. Huh. no they're Jeez. working on it a little bit at a time. Wow. That's a that's work a in progress. Job. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. That got a hole up no, there? That's good. I think we got them now, Donnie. Yeah. I think, I think we got them. Closed in these little places? Yeah, we just shoved rock sill in. There was only a finger. Yeah. So, you think that'll do it, the rock yeah, sill? Sure. For now? Yeah. Yeah. We'll cover it with siding or when we do right. the side. Yeah, we're gonna box that in. So I'm trying to think if there was anywhere else they could be getting in. It'd be this electrical box that I never finished. I, I wanted to look at that. I think I'm good. Oh, I forgot I put a medicine cap. You should just use a stapler, Donnie. That's what people on YouTube are going to say. Yeah, use a stapler. Yeah, use a stapler. It's a lot easier. Yeah. <laughs> well, we don't have a hardware store we can go to up here. We ran out of staples. Poor planning on our part. I could peel a couple out of the main building for you. <laughs> Yeah, we got a... You got the knife? Nope. We're going to have one of the fanciest outhouses in the North Main Woods. And lucky for us, our buddy Pat just started a new job cleaning outhouses. So, we'll have it, it'll be clean. Or did he say cleaning out houses or cleaning out houses? Uh, 
I guess you could take it either way. Okay. Maybe he's good at cleaning outhouses. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I bet he probably would be good at it. That's good at everything he does. He probably could get Ken to help him. Yeah. As a helper. Laurel and Hardy. <laughs> them, two, them two make up the whole Three Stooges. <laughs> oh dear. I hope he doesn't knock Ken in the head too hard. I heard he was going to knock him over the head. <laughs> Are we going to log siding right down to the base, Donnie? No, we're going to start right here. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. It looked awful funny if we went all the way down. <laughs> Anyway. Are you going to put a set of steps off of this thing? Yeah. Cool. I was thinking the other day, maybe we put a set of steps off this side too. Oh, now you're making more work. I know. Jesus. Why would we want to go off this side? For the generator. The generator's probably, or we could go right through there, I guess. The generator, I think, is going to be out here somewhere. Oh, it is. Yeah, maybe underneath this thing. Kind of hole in that. Kind of hole in the back right here. We'll put a hinge on it or something. The only bad thing would be the fumes inside the right. outhouse. Yeah, that might be bad. Might be. A lot of viewers were asking. Why you got such a long handle on that hammer if you only use the, the, the top bar? <laughs> well, I didn't know if you wanted to clarify it for the viewers at home. What I'm going to do is cut off half of this. Yeah. Half of this. I ought to do that on what an old hammer I got. I, I'm going to do that. That'd be funnier than hell. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't know what to think. Yeah. I That's just, good enough for this outhouse for now. You know. Stu Weatherhead made this bench. See, me? See that W? Yep. He's he's no longer around, but huh. he made these benches. Yeah. And they are the hand these stools, and they are the handiest things you will ever see. Yeah. And they're all over Jefferson. Dana Bond's got probably one or two. Yeah, I got two. You got two, I got one. And and you use that thing, it's the perfect seat or stool. You use that thing more than you'd ever imagine. Yeah, just putting these in, it's so convenient. Just pick it up by the hole in the center and yep. move it a few feet, set it back down. This one's been in my workshop, as you can, <coughs> as you can see, these were flowers painted this summer. Oh, yeah. But I guess I brought it up for this job, but the design's pretty simple. Look at that design. Yeah. And he made them all exactly alike. Are you going to take that one home? I'd like to take it home. Maybe we'll make another one for up here. Yeah. They are handy. Oh, wicked handy. Because it, it actually makes a nice stool, a uh, chair to sit on. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're doing a job, it's like the perfect height for yeah. a lot of jobs for some reason. Maybe we'll go into business making them full time. There you go. If the guy had a stack of lumber sitting around. In some spare time. <laughs> I bet you can sell them. Yeah. Pretty easy. Make good Christmas gifts. You got too much editing to do, Joe. You oh have my time God, I know it. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Although I probably will do it. <laughs> but I say I'm not going to, but I probably will.
that would look a lot better now with the side on it. Yeah. This is the main, this is what you call main siding. Oh, yeah. This tie pass. Yeah. Ten years. Because it stays forever. Yeah. Or forever. And how many years? The, the back, back, of, back of my back, building's yeah. on five. Yeah. On the back side? That, that yeah. Side? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. I still got to put my gable vents in. <laughs> Guess we don't need them. <laughs> it's not leaking. Or, no. I mean. Not that we know of. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, we got to bring up, we got one piece of tin up here. Next time we come up in the spring, bring that other piece and uh, do the roof. Oh, Jesus, I might just buy. Do you have a measurement for that? Eight foot six. Yeah, I might just buy so we don't have different colors because one's gray and one's friggin'. Well, we got gray on the side and <laughs> matches the side. Well, that side ain't going to be like that forever. It isn't? No, only 10 years. <laughs> 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 Christ, it's gonna cost me like twenty dollars to buy the friggin' roof and for that roof. Might as well just buy the green roof. Really? I think so. Okay. Unless you want red roof on your outhouse. No, this is. Uh, it's gray. pretty. Vi it's, it's, it's about that color gray. Yeah, it's pretty visible. This outhouse. Yeah, very visible. Yeah. It looks monstrous. <laughs> People must wonder what the I'm gonna what? I'm is going that a woodshed or what is that? I'm telling people it's a shower and a sauna. Well that's a good idea. That's it could be a sauna. Yeah. You know, maybe dual purpose. Yeah. Outhouse and sauna. You can sit on the toilet. Crank the heat. Yeah. Nice thing is when I get snoring bad or if Pat gets snoring, one of us could sleep in here. Yeah. yeah. Oh Pat would Yeah, he could get in there, curled yeah. up a little. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Pat. He sure takes the brunt of a lot of kidding. He doesn't deserve any of it. No, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> we ever tell you about the time he ate all the lunch meat for the whole baseball team? <laughs> yeah, you, you were telling me that. He, he, him and Pine sat there and did cheese and ham roll-ups with no bread for two hours during the first game. <laughs> And the first game was over, and the team went out to eat, and all we had was rolls. Oh, my <laughs> Mustard word. and mayo. Oh. They were making roll-ups and feeding them to each other. The coach must have been Oh, my irate. God. He was. <laughs> he was mad. After that, we all got individual bag lunches because yep. of that. Wow. They were trying to see how many they could fit in their mouths at a time. <laughs> <laughs> and Pat's got the record with 21. Oh 21 ham and cheese roll-ups. Oh, my word. <laughs> They got bored sitting in the yeah. dugout. They were in the bullpen. Oh, bullpen. Well, yeah. It was coach's fault for letting them sit on the cooler. They were sitting on the cooler and realized that there was food in it. <laughs> <laughs> like a bear, you know, smelling it. Right. <laughs> then they flipped that lid and that was the end of it. Wow. Acting like they were never eaten before. So you guys used to eat between games? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Usually half hour or an hour off between games. Yeah, give yeah. us enough time to prep the re prep the field and that was about get it. a little bite yeah. to eat. Yeah. Did you draw much of a crowd watching? Oh yeah. The students came to a lot of games. Yeah. It was fun when the weather was nice because you got that grassy hill on the yeah, side. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know, it's so a lot of the students would watch. Back their truck or drive their trucks in. They would cook hot dogs and stuff oh. and hang out, put blankets down. Yeah. Set, so Drink. When it was nice out, we, we got a lot of yeah. yeah. I remember one playoff game. It was like, I think it was Castleton. It was one of the Vermont teams. And I hit a home run. And I was rounding first. I remember pumping to the crowd. <laughs> they were all on the hill yeah. over by first. And I was freaking giving them the Kirk Gibson freaking <laughs> pop. And they were, they were screaming. Oh. Now, I didn't hit a lot of home runs, but I hit one that day. Yeah. And, and we won like two to one or something. It was, or wow. at the time, it gave us the lead or something. It was a big. It, it was. was. It was yeah, and I remember the best friggin' one of the best three seconds of my career was rounding first base and seeing that whole crowd over there, the, all the students, yeah, just screaming, friggin' throwing beer cans in the air. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, and I'm Kirk Gibson, friggin' doing this. 
<laughs> and coach was all excited. Coach tries to always play it cool on home runs when you're round third. He gives you like a handshake. Oh, really? Yeah. Like he kind of runs with you and gives yeah. you steamy nose better than anybody. <laughs> but he always tried to play it cool. But he was so freaking excited. Yeah. He'd be like, yep, yep. <laughs> There's a home run. <laughs> oh, yeah. <sighs> Well, it amazes me. It's kind of a religious school, and all this. Oh my God! All these stories of <laughs> Donnie, you wouldn't even believe it. Not for religious kids Whew. going there. <laughs> oh my God! I mean, the dorm life and the quads. I'd have to shut the video off. To tell you some of this stuff. Yeah. His roommate. find a fairly level spot so you can get a screw on that. Let's say that cardboard caught. Yeah. Try hooking the panel up yourself. Let's do it. I'm game. If it blows up, why? Yeah. I don't know much about it, and I don't know the generator hookup, but we got time. It's kind of like the steak crew one guy working, two guys watching. <laughs> <laughs> Should we tell him he's doing it wrong? <laughs> Yeah, we criticize his work. You're uh, definitely doing that wrong. <laughs> uh oh. That did not sound <laughs> good. Go. Did he pop this other end out? Nope. Oh boy. Uh oh. That's good to get that one off. It's glary over No, here. no glary. It was glary. Yeah, glary. <laughs> oh boy if you need to unplug that other one you can too <gasps> oh wow we won't know till night <laughs> Might have to mount the other one. Yeah. It's definitely better, I think, because I think if it's mounted on the ceiling over there, it's going to be wicked glary here, sitting here. If that's bright enough, that'd be awesome. Yeah. I just don't know if it bounces off enough. All right. Two of those might do it. Yeah, I don't know how it's going to be on the cover. How many were you planning on having? Four. So two here and two there? Yeah, well, I, was gonna, I wasn't going to put them on the post like this. I was going to mount them to that ceiling. Oh, right, because we got a recess later. Yeah. yeah. So maybe just stack them all right across, four right across that whole thing. We were going to have a Canadian lynx chasing a rabbit. On top of that, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we could put two up there for sure. <laughs> so maybe just stack them all right across, four right across that whole thing. Yeah. Boy, 
that was a deal getting that. Oh, that's see yeah. here, huh? That was oh. like, what, 10 cents of 19. Jeez. Can I help you, Joe? No. You're all set. That one will keep an eye on that because I think it went up on its own. Oh, I forgot about that. We've got a big party here. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that, Donnie. Probably pick up a couple more. Do they fit? Or was there something funky about it? Well, they, the color. They, they weren't made for this table, but they do fit. Okay. This might be the first craft these TV's ever eaten. Ah. It's sure good. I think so. Dinner! Dinner! There you go, Donnie. You're up first. Oh, wow. Papa! Papa! Dinner! Oh, did I give you two plates? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I'll take one of my plates back. Thank you. Stevie! Yeah. Wanna take this hot oil and get rid of it. Uh that's gonna be yeah. sanitized first. What if that leaches into the ground? Huh. Yeah, what if that leaches? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh boy. Nobody's got any common sense in the world. Common sense ain't that common anymore. Well, that's what they say. Yep, that's true. Thank you, Joe. You're welcome. What do we got here? Uh, that's crappy. Nice. Crappy friggin' meal. And pescata skins. <laughs> I've been slaving over those for all day. Those pescato skins. Wow. <laughs> There's a meal right there, fellas. Oh, crappy, delicious. You like it? Yeah. Nice. I didn't know if you've ever had that before. Put this hot sauce and sriracha if you want it. Yeah. Whatever you want. We will we'll have a little Franks. Yeah. Thank you. Got sweet and sour sauce too. Yeah, that might. Oh, help. I heard you cooked a heck of a sweet and sour chicken meal the other day. Yeah, that was good. Awful good. Good? Edible? Mmm. Mm. Gator skins are good, Joe. Yeah? Are yeah. they hot enough? Yeah. Okay. That's right. There's a couple more of them too if you get How'd cold. you do those? I've been working on them all morning. Yeah, yeah. 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 Stuffing them. Yeah, stuffing them with cheese and bacon bits. Yeah. 
Crappy's all right though. Job. Yeah, it's delicious. Good. Yeah. What's the? Uh, is that Dudley's breading? Nope. Um, Jay Seaman's breading. Ah. Catch and cook. Okay. Yeah. Little kick to it. Yeah. Tastes good. Little tiny kick to it. Yeah. Not much. It's definitely not super hot. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's tasty. We ready? Take a bite yeah. He, I think he's coming out. Oh, okay. All right, Steve, Donnie. Good to see Good to ya. See ya. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Yeah. Donnie, I'm not in any rush to come back. I might drive around a little bit. All right. Feel free, take a nap. Yeah. Thanks for everything. I haven't done anything. Well, you, you know, just hung out, cook food, and clean dishes. Yeah. We had we had some interesting talk. Yeah. 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 It was a great time. Old time talks. <laughs> so. And we got a couple of things checked off the list at the right. same time. Yeah. Super. Yeah. Good trip. All right, we'll all right. have fun. All right, we'll see ya. That's it for Stevie for this trip. That was your first time enjoying camp, right? So that was the first trip that was more leisure than work for me 